Hey, my name is Taklas, and today we're going to be looking at a Project Spark tutorial on how to make super simple shops. Now, these shops are very, very simple to make. They're very undercomplicated. Um, I made these for my Zelda world, where uh, I didn't have an interact button built into the game, so it was a way to bump the shop and buy what you want. So this uses the coin system. Even if you have your own method of currency, then I'm sure you can use that too. But pretty much, I have eight coins, and over here I can get healed for one coin, or I can get a speed boost. <clears throat> excuse me, for five coins. So let's say I want the speed boost. Touch it, five coins get extracted, and I get a speed boost, which may not look like a lot, but there is technically a speed boost. Now I'm gonna run over here, and I'm gonna get damaged a little bit. There, so I'm damaged gonna run back and I'm gonna get healed up again but this time the coin doesn't disappear it stays there and then poof comes back so then I can go get damaged again and get it again get healed again there we go so that's what we're gonna be doing today and this is very 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 simple to do so hopefully this helps you guys out first thing we want to do is we want to grab the model of a coin. We're going to take this model and let's rotate it like that. Open it up. And I like to take out the yaw movement here so that it doesn't move. And we're going to be taking this code, which is the default code for the uh, coin, and we're going to be messing with it the way that we want. <clears throat> first things first, let's cut out what we don't need. We're going to be going over the one time use shop first. Let's cut out this line and let's cut out this line then right bumper to switch to this page and delete this page so we just got this page now we need to add a new line of code here and we need to make all of these lines of code child lines so to do that you press a on the number and scooch it over one by just hitting left or right on the joystick now these lines of code won't run until this line of code is met so this makes the player variable uh, it, and it being the player, because it detected the player. Anyways, this is the player. For everything we need to do, we need to use this attribute. So what we're going to do is instead of coin counter incremented up by one, we're going to decrement it by one, and for stability's sake, we're going to put started to in front of it. Next, the way that we make the shop only function when you have enough coins, so we're going to take coin counter, but we also need the player coin counter, or else this won't work. And we need to put greater than or equal to, and then we need to put the price of your shop. This shop is going to be the one-time use, so we're going to put the price at five. So we also need to have the coin counter decremented by five. Next, I like to change this effect. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Um... Let's do poof. Poof's always a good one. Um, next, we need to add a line of code for what <clears throat> what actually uh, happens. So for my speed boost one, I had create, and then I had boots. Where are they at? I don't know, they're under leather boots. These boots are built into the game and they give you a temporary speed boost when you pick them up. You have to buy these for like a thousand coins or so. So if you don't have them, you can do whatever you want. You can have it equip weapons too. Um, the way my character is designed with his current equip system, it uh, crashes the game when I try to do that. But first let me show you how to do this. So we're gonna create a leather boot at position of player. And for stability's sake, we're going to do started to. Now, this would create the leather boot at the position of player and instantly give him the speed boost. If you want to equip something, started to, equip, and archer's bow, come on, and then player. 
That's right. Player. There we go. For that, you actually need to use the player tile and not the uh, variable tile. But that's the idea of it. I'm not going to do that though. If you've used my inventory system from before in a previous tutorial, this may not, the equip thing may not work. Uh, you can play with it, but it kept crashing the game when I tried to do it. So, what we're going to do create the leather boot at the position player, and it's going to pick it up. So, let's give this a quick test to make sure it works. Now, the leather boot gives me some like sparkles when I use it. So, I'm going to run over to the coin, and it's going to give me nothing. Nothing at all. But I'm going to go pick up some coins. Got eight coins here. Poof! Now I got sparkles, five coins were subtracted, and the coin is gone. And after a little bit, the sparkles go away and whatnot. So, that's how you create a one time use only shop. We're going to move this over here. Let's grab another coin. It's not a bad idea to take one of these coins and um, change the physical properties of it, of it, like make it maybe red or make it bigger or something like that. That way you can differentiate it from a shop. And it's also very important you put proper signage up so people don't think that they're about to pick up a coin and actually spend a coin. So this is going to be a multiple use shop, which is a tiny bit harder, but really it's not bad. We're going to delete this and we're going to delete this and we're going to delete this. Once again, we're going to create a new line, make these child lines of code. And when player coin counter greater than or equal to one, because the price of this one is going to be one. We need to make this decremented and we're going to started to heal. Now, if you want the heal tile default only heals 10 health. So I'm going to do a full heal. So I'm going to do 100. And once again, we have to show that this is going to be healing the player and not itself. So there we go. Now to make it function so it can sell again and yet not be sold 40 times while you're touching it. We're going to do, bear with me, this isn't too freaky. I'm going to go to brain. Uh, oh, no, not under win. About to say that wasn't making sense. Brain, switch page. Go back to brain, next page. So then we're going to use right bumper, skip to the next page, and we can delete everything on this page. Then we're going to do appearance. I like to do hologram so that there's a very noticeable physical difference. We're going to do display the text. Thanks for your, your, your purchase. And we're going to put it above. And lastly, we're going to have a countdown timer of, let's do four. Four seems about right. And then switch page previous page. That way, when you buy it, it does all this code and it switches to this page, which does not allow you to purchase or do anything. And it says, thanks for your purchase. Four seconds, switches back. And if the player is dumb enough to be still standing on the coin, they are going to buy it again. But I'd like to think that they're smarter than that. So let's run over. No coins, nothing to buy. Pick up some coins. Let's go get ourselves hurt. Probably could have taken the path, but whatever. Okay, so I'm injured enough. Let's run back. There, thanks for the purchase. My health is refilled. Goes white and boop, back to normal. In which if I was damaged more, I could buy it again, but I can't buy it while it's glowing. So, I've made this pretty little scene with the shopkeeper and the flame and the signs and all that, which I'd recommend you do too, so the people know it's a shop. But that's all up to you. Um, this just shows you how to make a very simple shop. Very simple shop. 
So I hope this helps you. Um, I'm going to see if I can make a tutorial for a much more advanced shop with a menu and display and everything more like Crossroads in the future. But for now, this is, this is the basics of it. You guys should also be excited to know that I am working very hard on making a complex and simple to use telekinesis tutorial so that you could grab an enemy or maybe even an object from the world and pick it up with your mind, move it around, slam it against the ground, damage it, all that kind of fun stuff. It's not easy, but I'm working on it. So when I get that figured out, I will definitely make a tutorial for you guys. So if this tutorial was helpful, be sure to leave a comment or like below. If you'd like me to make a tutorial for you, uh, just leave a comment or message me. I'd love to do something for you. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys.